What do you get when you fall in love? You get enough germs to catch pneumonia. So for at least until I phone you out, never fall in love again. And don't you know it? I'll never fall in love again. I'll never fall in love again. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. I want to share a couple crazy, crazy, crazy stories. And I want y'all. Y'all comment. Please, please let me know what you think about them both. Um, uh, one is shades of, and I'll let you guess, fill in the blank. Because maybe I'm crazy. Like I said, why am I straight? Why? I mean, <laughs> I'm going to read two stories for you. And let me calm down. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Okay. Here's the first one. This was taken from the Daily Mail. Um, this particular story right here. All right. And um, listen to this. All men. Okay. All men in Alabama will be forced to have a vasectomy at 50 or when they have their third child under an outrageous state law proposed by a Democrat. Well, I think if y'all want to, you know, do this tit-for-tat stuff, I mean, why not? Why not? If you want to decide who can, you know, uh, uh, what the woman's right to choose, if you want to implement yourself in all this, I mean, what's what's wrong with this? At least it's a balance in it. Anyway, Republican Rolanda Hollis put the bill forward in reaction to the abortion ban. I figured, you know, they go. Hollis says Republicans have tried to dictate a woman's body. The proposal has been branded an outrageous overstep by opponents. Listen to this. Men would have to pay for the enforced sterilization of themselves. <laughs> the Republican state Senate passed a near total ban on abortions last year. The law has been temporarily blocked by a federal judge since October. Okay. All men will be forced to have vasectomies when they reach the age of 50 or have three children under a new law proposed by the Alabama lawmaker. I think this is one of the most creative, balanced approaches to this whole thing. Uh, well, that's just my opinion. I'm not afraid to give it. Tell me what you think, because a lot of y'all out there ain't afraid to give it either. Please tell me. Do you think this brings balance to the situation? Or do you think, hell no, there's no way in the world I'm getting a vasectomy, or how dare you think? I just want to hear your take on it. Because you know what they say. Uh, what did James Brown say? This is a man's world. This is a man's world. But it wouldn't be nothing. Nothing without a woman or a girl. No, let me know. For real. What y'all think about that one? <laughs> Do you think about men getting a vasectomy after they have three children or have reached the age of 50 years old? Now, um, the third child is their biological child, by the way. Okay, that's the first one. So I want to know what y'all think about that. Because that, that kind of, you know, anyway, <laughs> that's on to the next one. Now this one is not even, um, this one brings sadness to my heart. Uh, because it has a lot of um, 
reminiscences of a case that I'm sure y'all going to um, y'all going to recall, and it's just really weird that this is happening right now. Okay, so I want to read this next story to you, which is really really sad. And y'all, I want you to know, I hope this video goes up because YouTube is seem to be doing some funny style stuff with my videos and they're going up two and three days later. Or, um, I don't understand what's going on. Anyway, I hope this video goes out today because this right here is really interesting. Y'all might have a take on this different than I. The NYPD has charged a 14-year-old boy with two counts of murder. Over the stabbing death of Tessa Majors. Rashawn Weaver was taken into custody late Friday, nearly two months after the gruesome slaying of Majors shocked New York City. In addition to the two murder charges, one international and one felony, Weaver also faced four robbery charges. Police have revealed Weaver will be uh, tried as a, in court as an adult. And that he was the same teenager who went on the run while he was wanted for questioning in the days after the murder. Cops allege 18-year-old Majors, a student at the prestigious Bernard College, was confronted by a group of three teens as she walked through Morningside Park on the evening of December 11th before she was stabbed in a botched robbery attempt. Um... In a botched robbery, I'm sorry. Prosecutors allege Weaver is the one who repeatedly plunged the knife into Majors as she cried for help. Another 13-year-old boy <sighs> is in custody in relation to the robbery. And a third suspect has not been arrested or charged. It's happened in a park. The young lady is white, obviously, and the three boys involved in this story is black. Need I say more? Need I say more? Leave a comment in the section below and tell me what case that it reminds you of. And uh, what you think about that? That broke my heart. Where you want to go with it. Alright. I'll see y'all in the next video.